Yeah, like I've been gone for a minute, maybe a few weeks, maybe more than a few weeks, maybe like a month, all right? But I'm back. I'm back and the whole setup has changed now. The quality hasn't gotten better yet, but it will in the future. Still happening. Okay, I'm back. Some things haven't changed. I'm still reading off a script. Uh, the reason I'm reading off a script is because there are like fundamental truths to social skills and like social situations, which people don't talk about, like are just being yourself, but to be actually able to get past that, like I've done for myself, you kind of have to know the rules of the game anyway, and like be socially smart. So I've got a script so I don't forget anything. That's pretty much the reason why. All right, I would just be reading off like my hand or like I would just be talking to you without a script if we didn't need to explain things in like a clear way and not act like everything was just be yourself or like those sort of things. Do you know what I mean? Or like people telling you not to overthink. That's another one. It's like the reason you're overthinking is probably for a good reason and it's really happening for a reason, but they just told you to stop doing it. Not really good advice, you know? So anyway, this video, <laughs> situationships. Uh, a lot of you people are in and out of them, situationships. Is this a bad thing? Not necessarily, it's not always a bad thing, all right? Because it means you had the potential to date this person that you were seeing, but most likely, unfortunately, you fucked it up or they fucked it up and you lost interest. But what makes the situation is you sleeping with someone and then one of you catches feelings, right? Then either you or the other person loses interest and then instead of taking or talking about how to fix that from my perspective in this video, because there are fixes to it, I'm going to talk about how to assess the damage and end up in a better spot socially for you. So how can you be in a better spot like that? All right. You might've heard of this one, uh, you know, the three month situation ship situation, right? So after three months, but I don't know really what it is, but like after three months, someone loses interest that can happen to anyone if you don't play your cards, right? But the best ways to avoid this at like a foundational level at the base level, it's not to do with personality or anything like that or anything like that's too deep into like you dating this person. We'll talk about the foundational stuff. Uh, but before that, you're probably watching this after this has happened to you at some point, even if it wasn't directly called a situationship, you know? So how do we fix you up? So one, you can make the person jealous that you were just in the situationship with. Two, so you can make you forget about them. And yeah, you might not want to actually forget about them or you say you might not want to, but it's actually what will help you and what will happen in the future anyway. So it's kind of like inevitable for you to not do that. And then number three, so we can give you many more options. How do we do that? Okay, the real way these two results isn't through self-improvement unless number one, you're a drug addict. Number two, you're unattractive you know, which is usually a lie you convince yourself is true. Or number three, you're not confident. All right. These things come with time and experience, I guess. But if you have those three things, or if you have any one of those three things, probably don't start here, start somewhere else. You know, if you have a cat addiction, don't come to this video first, okay? Or test not, like, just whatever you're doing. Don't bring it here. Fix those three things first, then come here. So I can make a video talking about how you should get up and start taking fucking cold showers, all right, and grinding. But that's boring and it also doesn't work for getting someone that's more attractive or someone that's better than your last situation. So what do you do then, all right? How do you end up in a mentally healthier situation with a more attractive partner than the last? Finally, all right, so okay, number one, first, You've got to stop letting yourself feel sorry for yourself. I'm going to talk about some of the things that you might feel, but don't miss the person. Try not to do that. All right. Stop doing the bad things before you do anything good. And these pretty much happen from mainly in my experience and from what I've heard, you know, listening to sad music or music that makes you think of them. I've had so many friends listen to sad music and wallow in their self pity for longer than they have to because they like the sad music or they like the way it sounds about a situation, yeah? 
The other thing is looking at photos of the person or stalking their social media. That's just going to remind you of them. Kind of obvious. It's, you know, if it was great at the time, I know if it was good at the time, but it's not worth doing because you don't forget about the person. You know this as well. There's no need for me to explain any more about why that's bad. Another thing is constantly talking about this person or why they fucked you up or what happened to them. That's going to make you keep thinking about this person. It's going to make you feel bad. <laughs> it's going to make you still, you know, basically keep you on that self-pity train is what I'm going to call all these things. Try to get off the self-pity train as soon as possible by fixing the bad shit first. All right, that's number one. Number two is, this is maybe the most important thing I'm going to talk about this entire video is just to go on more dates. All right, even if you don't think you'll like the person as much as the situation ship you were just in with, and even that mindset, right? The reason that you're not even over the person is that you think they're the best that you can get. This is probably true unless you're really believing it. You know, then it actually might be. This is, by the way, speaking about this out loud is crazy to me because I might be going through this myself. Who knows? <laughs> but like, anyway, go on more dates with other people. Of all the people that I know that spent fucking years sad that they were in a situation for a short amount of time, and then compared to them, like to after they met someone else and they realized the original situation wasn't even that attractive, right? But you had those heart-shaped lenses on, those heart-shaped goggles that told you uh, they were the best looking person that you could get and that you were in love with them, whatever. And so you kind of became desperate. They made you think that they're the one, right? They're not the one, okay? So swear to God, if you go on more dates with someone else that's attractive to you, then you compare their social medias from the original situation ship. It's like you're looking at a fucking catfish. Yeah. The last thing for point two is make sure you keep going on dates. Even when you find someone that you're attracted to, this is maybe the most important part of this. I know it sounds toxic or like reversal. Even if you don't like the people you're going on dates with, it's just, you know, allowing you to have more options. And I'm going to sound like a fucking grandma putting all your eggs in one basket. All right. I am a kind of a fucking grandma. But if you don't do this, it can only lead to another bad situation ship where you become overly dependent on one person until you start dating them, right? If you start dating them, then you let everyone else go, you know, at that time. But until that point, just don't put them all in one basket because it can only get you hurt, okay? That sounds toxic, but it's true, it's real. And don't believe anyone else when they tell you that's wrong, all right? Just, have to, just gonna have to trust me on that point. Number three, all right? How can we change you to make you appear more attractive? Appear, right? So I'm glad you fucking asked, right? Start growing your social media. Take more photos and doing more activities and having a social life, yeah? Start improving how you look. This means making enough money to be able to buy clothes and jewelry, okay? So you need to start making more money. And the best way to do that is honestly a casual job. For whatever reason, they pay more than full-time jobs if you work more hours, right? Okay. If you're a five, six guy or an unattractive girl, focus on making yourself less insecure about the things that you're insecure about. So if you're short as a guy or unattractive as a girl, you know, try to improve those aspects and become better looking. All right. So you can feel more confident in that way. Confidence comes from experience or doing things. So you can fix that yourself that way. That might sound really hard to do if you have such a lower self-esteem that you believe you can't look any better. Um, but it might take multiple heartbreaks and sad things to happen to you to realize that you can actually do that and look better or, you know, be less insecure about your height. You know, if you're short, it can be improving your confidence in a sport or at the gym so you know you can beat taller guys, right? Just knowing you can beat taller guys and not compare yourself to them as much. You know, I've had people who are like, I know people who might put myself personally who are like extremely popular and extremely athletic and because of those two things even though they're like five foot six five foot seven they're still attractive to the majority of girls they don't have to be six foot four but there are lies that get pushed through like socials that you can easily believe if you just keep watching them and you don't take any action so wear your height on your sleeve wear it with confidence if you're unattractive wear it with confidence until you can make yourself attractive right get a nose job. I don't know. Like, I'm kidding. All right. If you're unattractive or maybe just short and unattractive, just get a very attractive style. That is another thing you can do. Hit the gym, get a full-time job for more money. Just start improving generally 
the basics and you you just get more confident that's the more confident area uh that's the more what am i trying to say here that is where you can become more confident in getting a person that's more attractive to you than your last situation ship all right basically the answer to these problems is to make yourself more popular and attractive than the guy or girl that you've just got another situation ship with that sounds hard and it's a grind but it's possible okay despite what everyone else says or the things that it talks about on social media. You might say, this isn't me or I'm being fake. You know, you have to find a way to make this your personality and the things by doing things that you want to do and finding out more about yourself in a way that will improve your social attractiveness and your confidence. If you just don't give a fuck, sometimes that's enough. All right. So either improve social attractiveness and be confident or just be so confident that you don't give a fuck. One or the other will work. All right. One's really hard to do though. You know, being so confident you don't give a fuck about anything is really hard to do unless you're really experienced in doing that sort of shit. Anyway, number four, spend some time finding what makes you happy. So your purpose, this just means whatever your goal is for your later in your life, like if you want to be famous or if you want to make money, those sort of things, or if you just want to have a family and kids, finding that and then getting into that one is extremely important for whatever person you find. Because if they want to be in a situation with you and then eventually go into a relationship with you, they have to know that you are driven enough to, to be worthwhile to stay with. Know that a situation ship isn't the worst thing you can go through, all right? That's the mindset you have to have. It's what dating is like, and that's just what it's like nowadays. If you think you can escape the dating game because the guy or girl you, you want wouldn't ghost you and is perfect, you're fucking delusional. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, in that what someone sees is what they're attract attracted to, at least initially. All right, so they're gonna see you face value first and they're going to judge you on that. That's the way nature is. That's the way it goes. There's nothing wrong with that and you can approve it so it works to your benefit. All right. Don't stay the same way you are waiting for things to change or waiting for the right person. That's delusional. Okay. Change yourself and find your purpose. These are the four steps to make sure you get into better situations and courage can change any outcome.